Well, very good morning from the sports desk. The Lions are showing some serious intent ahead of this domestic cricket season, and that is if their coaching appointments are anything to go by. In June, the franchise roped in former Proteus coach Russell Domingo, and then last Wednesday, there was an announcement that Proteus legend Hashim Amla would be joining Domingo's team. This as the batting coach. Now, of course, just how loud is this Lions roar going to be in the upcoming season? Well, I've brought the man into studio to answer that question for me. Coach Russell Domingo, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for making the time, for coming in. So that is the question that I'm putting to you. You are putting the necessary pieces in the right places. You've brought in a legend of the game to come and impart his knowledge of batting onto your players. Are you essentially going to roar loud? Morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, look, having Hashim part of our coaching staff, I think... Um, Shows our intent. Mm. I think uh, as head coach of the Lions, our, our focus is two-way. Obviously, we want to compete and win competitions. Mm. But secondly, also want to continue producing plays for South Africa. I think Hashim obviously comes as a batting coach, but there's so much more that he can teach some of the young players about dealing with the pressures, dealing with success, failure, being professional. Mm. I mean, he's been at the top of the end of the game for such a long time. And to have him around and working with some of our young players, whether they're batters or bowlers in the, young, in the youth systems, mm. I think it's going to be of immense value for our system. You haven't been in the domestic game since 2011. Hashim wasn't playing much of domestic cricket because he was always international. Do you look at that as a positive, considering where you've been since 2011 till now when you're back in the fold? Do you consider your guys' international experience and exposure and coaching expertise out there, or even playing expertise in Hashim's case, an advantage more than it is a disadvantage because you haven't been back home for a while? Absolutely. Look, I've been out of domestic league for a long time, and I've always kept a keen, keen eye on it. I chat a lot to the franchise coaches, Robin Peterson, and I chat about just about every day about the system and what's happening and who the players coming through the system are. So I definitely think it can benefit the younger players within the system, the older players as well, who are mm. trying to make the progression to international cricket. I think that experience of international cricket from Hashim and myself will benefit the system. Mm. Um, look, it's great to be back. I've, I've missed it. I've been away from South African cricket for just on four years now, so to be back in it and at the forefront of it is really exciting for me. Coach, we know what the Lions knows, um, has, is capable of, if I can put it that way, in terms of the production of some serious talent. I need not name too many. Gahis Rabada, Quinton de Kock, Temba Bavoma, Rassi van der Dersen, you know, you've got Riza Hendricks in there. Those are just some of the five of the best players that we have in the system. Can you maintain that? Because it started off, and if I can credit Jeff Doyana for it, because, you know, Rabata comes under him, it started off around his tenure, and it has maintained since then, Lions winning domestic titles frequently. Is it, a, is it pressure on you to make sure that you maintain and even step it up? Look, I think the pipeline's done a fantastic job at Lions cricket over the last 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. and those coaches and administrators got to take a lot of credit for that. I've just had meetings with, I think, six S under 19 players, from this particular year, so they are still the biggest producer of African under-19 mm. players in the system. Look, there's also another tier of player, the guys like Josh Richards, Wandile Makwetu, mm. those type of players, Conor Estazen, uh, Mitch Van Buren, mm. that we also want to try and get through the next level. So it's a continuous pipeline of players coming through the youth system, into the cult system, into the franchise system, yeah. and hopefully we can progress those players onto the national side because we need to keep producing and providing opportunities for players in the Lions system to continue, continuously play. No one knows this more than you, Coach. The ultimate goal is for South Africa to win its very first World Cup title. We have been begging for this for decades now. Um, your guys' responsibility as franchise coaches is, as you say, to ensure that you're feeding the national system with the best of the best coaches possible. What's missing right now in domestic cricket to ensure that we do have those players that can go out there and win that World Cup? Look, I think we've got fa fantastic players at the moment. We've just had a, a great roadshow from Cricket South Africa that was led by Enoch Inque, showing the way that South African cricket want to play. I think it's got to be an holistic approach. I think all players, all coaches in the system have got to buy into the vision of South Africa trying to win a World Cup and ensure that we communicate closely with the national coaches about which players they're looking at, where we want them to bat, what sort of conditions we need them playing in, who plays spin well, mm. who is a good bowler to death. So I think that communication between national coaches, domestic coaches, I think some paramount importance that we've all got a one clear vision and that is to try and win that elusive World Cup. Just very quickly, uh, Coach, before I let you go, we are in a World Cup and we're starting against Sri Lanka. Looking at the team right now, does this look like a team that can win a 50-over World Cup or are we asking for too much too soon? <laughs> no, look, at, they're always going to be competitive to, to say... I mean, there are five or six teams that could win the World Cup. Yeah. So Africa are one of those teams. Yeah. 
So it's very difficult to say that's a World Cup winning team because the five or six teams I feel that can go to India and win this particular World Cup. So Africa have got the players yeah. capable of doing it. There's no doubt about that. You need a little bit of luck. You need <laughs> things to go for you. Yeah. Uh, you need big players to play at the right time and perform really well. If everything goes according to plan, we definitely have give ourselves a chance to get to the semis. If we get to the semis, anything's possible. That optimism is definitely something that South Africans are going to have to keep carrying because this is a big World Cup year. Coach Domingo, all the best with the season that's coming and we can only but hope that those players that you're cooking go out there and one of these days do win all the World Cups that are on offer. But thank you so much for coming into studio and speaking to us. Of course, that is former Pro Tiers head coach, of course, uh, Russell Domingo, who's going to have a keen eye on the World Cup this year. But his main focus is going to be for the Lions because he is the Lions head coach, having brought in as well Hashim Amala to assist him. That's where we leave it from the sports desk for now.